Ah, the stock market's crashing. Everyone's running in fear. Everyone's selling. Everyone's panicking. My own trading 212 portfolio is down 10%. Am I worried? No, is the answer. I'm quite relaxed about the situation. And in this video, I'm going to show you why. So all the headlines this week have all been about a massive stock crash, how the stock market is going down, there's going to be another big recession, um, lots and lots of scary news on the TV and the papers on, and online. If we look at my personal trade in 212, I've got it, my portfolio showing it on the weekly, weekly chart. As you can see, at end of Friday, it finished on seven, pretty much seven and a half percent up still um, in profit, which you know is still good. If we look at the end of the week, or the start of the week, sorry, I've lost it. I was on about seventeen percent in profit. So obviously, in one week, it's dropped down to seven. So that's obviously I've lost 10% of my portfolio value. Um, if we now look at the, so that's how it's affected m me personally. If we look at the S&P 500 um, and just sort of see what's been going on. So this is on a six month, ch six month uh, daily chart. As you can see, the S&P finished on 3,269. Um, and when we look, I've drawn a yellow, the yellow line that I've drawn in is basically a support line, a resistance line, which people are talking about, um, which is back on September. So a lot of people are talking about next week is the S&P 500 going to break through that support line and go down further, or is it going to bounce off that line and go back up? So a lot of people are waiting to see what happens next week on how the future uh, it has in store for the S&P 500. Um, I think a lot of people are guessing at the minute and no one has any certainty to say whether it's going to rebound off that line or break through. If it does break through, then the next sort of resistance line that we might have as a bit of support could be all the way down to 3,000 points, which that was back around the 12th or the 6th where it got down at those levels um, so obviously that's quite a big drop you can also see as well there is a red line which is the moving 100 day moving average and it finished last week below the S&P the moving hundred moving average red line which it hasn't done that since oh, oh, since the 13th or the 5th so for quite a while so there are some key signs there that it might obviously go down further um, and if we f look at what's happening at the moment in the world and why obviously the, the, the decline in the stock market there's a lot of fear there's a lot of things going on as well. If we look at, um, obviously, we're fastly approaching the the U.S. election, which is going to be next week. So there's a lot of uncertainty in the markets there. Who is going to win the election, and how their own views on America, and how they're going to take America forward. So the stock market is obviously nervous of that and how that's going to pan out um, there is the stall in Congress over the needed money and stimulus that is needed to boost the American economy it's that they're still fighting over that and can't agree a deal so again that is pushing the stock market down um, and obviously 
the the virus is still out there and there's second waves hitting around the world and especially in Europe so there's a lot of fear obviously we no one knows how, again what the second wave of the virus is going to have an effect on the on the market some people are saying it's going to be down as low as it, around the sort of time of March when it all crashed again it's just people are guessing we no one knows for sure where the stock market's going to go but there are some of the reasons why there's a lot of fear in the market at the minute and people are selling off is because of the virus, because of the US election and because the it's much needed stimulus is needed into the American market. So now we're going to talk about why me personally I'm not too worried at the moment that my portfolio has dropped 10%. Um, and why I'm quite relaxed about it at the moment. I think a lot of the evidence out there is what I'm going to show you is why at the moment I'm quite relaxed with, this, with the situation. Um, if I At the moment I've got on the screen the S&P 500 for election year seasonality and with obviously the US election coming up. So the blue line clearly shows on election year, on average for the last 59 years, what happened to the S&P 500. And as you can see, it always dips down in October. And then once we get a result in November, it then rallies all the way to December. So part of me, that's what I'm expecting. That once the election, the US election is sorted, and there's a new president, then the market will get confidence again and will rally towards the end of the year. I mean, that's the average for the 59, the last 59 years. So that's quite a good uh, basis to go off. Um, and the next chart, if we look at also what happens to the S&P 500 during a presidential election, if the in incumbent party uh, loses, which is the dark blue, then generally what happens um, is again, I and mean, I'm not going to get political and say who's going to win or who's not going to win, but if we look at who, if Trump does lose, then this also sort of dovetails with what's happening at the moment, that since 1936 then the stock market goes down again in October and once the new president is in place the market then rallies from November to December the very clear blue line is obviously the incumbent party if he wins so obviously if Donald Trump wins a second term then there is not really any dip which at the minute it is dipping. So just looking at what historically has happened in the S&P 500, these two could make sense to what's happening now that the market feels that Donald Trump isn't going to win a second term. And that's why the market has dipped down in October and will rally again once the new one's in charge for November and December. So that's two indicators looking back at what's happened over the year, why I'm not too worried. Like I say, I'm not going to get political about it. Um, the other factor was obviously the trying to get the Congress to agree on a new stimulus package. I think once the new president or of Trump wins a second term and that is sorted, then I think the new stimulus package for the US economy will be sorted quite quickly. The Fed are under a lot of pressure, like from this ad from CNBC, to do something. Um, and I think the Fed will have no choice but to pump more and more money into the American economy like they did in March and April. And we saw what effect that had on the stock market, that it was a very quick V-shaped recovery because of the amount of money the Fed pumped into the stock market to prop it up. I think they'll have no choice to do that again, which again will push 
the S&P 500 upwards. Um, that's just my opinion. So that's why I'm not too worried because I believe, again, by the end of the year, that will help push the S&P 500 up. And crashing and going down over the last couple of weeks, what have I personally been doing? Have I been running in fear and selling all my stocks? No, I haven't. I've seen it as a good opportunity to buy some good companies and some good stocks. Why these big dips are happening? Because um, they're at a, obviously you could argue there may be a discount. So I've also my plan is to be buying companies that I feel are more future proof. As in, if there is another big second wave of a virus, what sort of companies can go through that? Is it on the first wave? Again, so I've looked at the tech stocks again, which is, you know, the Amazons and the Facebooks. And if we have a look at my trading 212 portfolio of what I've ordered over the last couple of weeks, I've been slowly buying shares in Amazon, Tencent Music, uh, Union Pacific, the railroad company in the States. Um, I've been bullish about Union Pacific for a while because goods and freight still needs to be transported around no matter what um and i and i like that company so i've been buying some good level of stock in them i bought some more into canadian solar because i see them a good company for the future i've been a little bit more of intel another technology company bought a little bit more into the global clean energy because they also the stat stock went down um, obviously, again, more some Union Pacific, Facebook, I managed to get some more on um, the tech stocks over the last week, definitely took quite a dip. So it was an op ideal opportunity, in my opinion, to buy a bit more stock in the in these stocks and these companies. I've got a bit more Facebook. Um, as you can also say, I bought a small holding in the VIX 500, which is the the VIX is basically the the fear indicator of when the market is fearful, um, the, that goes up. So I've sort of bought into that now, just as a bit of a, an insurance. It's only a small, very small holding, but why, if it carries on being fearful for the next couple of weeks and the stock market drops a bit more, then it's just a small insurance that, when the stock market drops, I will make a little bit of money off the VIX um, to cover just some of the losses at the moment. But remember, you don't lose money until you sell. So my stock portfolio might drop, but in the long run, it'll go back up. But in the meantime, I just bought the VIX as just a slight insurance. Um, I only plan to hold it for maybe two weeks, three weeks at most. And if it does, stock market drops further then I'll make a little bit of money from the VIX and then I shall sell that once things start getting back and the confidence gets back into the market. Um, other companies I've obviously bought in is Twitter, Microsoft and Amazon again. So that's what I've basically done, why we've been having these dips. Obviously if it goes down further over the next couple of weeks I should be looking to fill up some more on these companies um, and get bigger positions for the future because eventually it will all sort itself out and eventually the stock market will go up and all these are strong strong companies and they will eventually go up so I'm quite happy and quite relaxed. Thank you so much for watching my video hope you really enjoyed it please give a like and subscribe it really does help my channel and i shall see you soon thank you